Hi everybody, we are here with Sergei Tsefkov and we're gonna have an interview with you. Hi Sergei. Hello. Yeah, I'm uh, Sergei Tsefkov, 29, 28 years old. Uh, I'm uh, racing for Romanian national and uh, I'm racing in US. I was born in Moldavia and uh, I was trained there and I started cycling there too and in 2010 I moved to the US. So you know, now you're riding for Jelly Bear, an American uh, team. Uh, can you just tell a little bit more about this team? Yeah, this team is 18 years old. It's uh, the oldest team probably in the world, but in the US for sure. Uh, I'm racing since 2013. This team is a great uh, sponsorship with um, like Candid Kids, everyone knows what is Jelly Belly in the US and we have a great support, we have great sponsors, so that's that's the thing. What about the early times in the uh, in US about cycling? Uh, looks like uh, since 2008-9, I, I don't really remember, it was a uh, start with Tour of California, this is the famous race in the world, so basically who doing Giro uh, is go for Giro and really prepare for Tour de France, they do it California, so this is a great seven days race and that's why it's really famous probably and after it's races like Utah and Colorado become f famous too. Let's go back uh, to 2015, you, you rode for an Italian uh, team uh, and you also won uh, your national championship, right? Yes, I won uh, 2015 after Giro d'Italia I won a uh, time trial and road race so I was double a uh, national champion of Romania and 2016 I won uh, uh, time trial so it was good. With Team Androni right? Yes. How was your experience there? It was a great experience, it's really great big team with a great schedule, nice stuff and it's really, really it's a different level. So you spent time in Italy and you spent time also in the uh, United States, so can you make a comparison or a sort of uh, let's say one-to-one -to, -one to understand which are the differences uh, among these two? context um yeah it's a big difference honestly because it's uh, the first difference is a uh, racing days so uh in us if you have like 50 60 day race here you can have like 100 plus this is the first difference uh, the second difference probably the roads so uh, the roads there and here is a big difference between a uh, size so uh, there is a really large straight and here is super narrow and that's the thing and um, peloton here is you can have like 200 plus guys there you can have like 150 as well 200 to some races but it's not the same level but it's still in the three big races like uh, Tour of California, Colorado and Utah you can meet the same world tour guys. So, so what about your training uh, session? I mean I can imagine that in Italy you have uh, less spare time to train since uh, you have a lot of races during here but in the United States you have much more spare time to train yourself. How do you manage your, your spare time? I mean let's say not spare but training. Uh, I'm really enjoy my city where I live right now. I am living in Colorado, so it's an altitude 2000 meter plus and I have a great roads. It's like I can go one training like over 3800 meters so and I like altitude so that's why I'm living there and a lot of athletes. I would, would just like to ask you if you just train with road bike or also off-road bike or MTB? During the season I'm training just with my road bike. Uh, I get sick sometimes <laughs> it's too much training but off-season I try to uh, train kind of off-season just you know mountain bike a little bit like you know a week or two. Can I ask you just if you if you ever noticed uh, a sort of evolution of the cycling in the last five years with all the communication stuff around the cycling and so on? Oh, you know like every year it's kind of uh, <laughs> some something new like bicycle like uh, you know um, type of training and everything. I think it's just growing up. Hopefully it's gonna be great and hopefully it's gonna open new teams. And uh, you know, the, everything changed pretty much. Like I remember five years ago and now it's total difference. Do you manage your, let's say, social communication by yourself or do you have any staff for that? Yeah, I'm not so famous right now, but I'm still hold my, I, I do myself, yeah, my Instagram, my Twitter, so I have time. 
So let's go back to Italy. Now you are here in Biella to train yourself. And uh, obviously, I would like to ask you why, first of all, you are here in Biella. And then what do, what do you think about the roads uh, here in Biella, the, the course you can, you can face here? When I spent two seasons, I uh, lived in a... I stay in Hotel Albergatina. It's a great place uh, to stay and it's a great, uh, you know, support. We like... You know that that person was like a family for us that's why i'm come back and really enjoy to meet those guys even i'm not in the team but i'm still really great friends with them so uh i spent there two seasons and uh, i train a lot around of course uh, i train up to europa basically was this year giro d'italia stage i was really <laughs> fun to watch when I'm like oh i know that road you know just when i'm watching tv so yeah, and around you can find uphills, you can find flat for motor pacing. So basically, it's a perfect, you know, perfect landscaping for for training. Did, did the uh, um, Tom Dumoulin performance on the Europa climb astonished you a little bit? I I was impressed by you know by timing how they did because uh, it looks like they compare um, with uh, times of Mark and It was pretty close. So back to your question how is it performed that uh, cycling in the well, that is a performing a huge performance because the guys like tom domelan and another guys who can like weight 68 kilos and be really close to marco pantani like uh, really light guys so that's the difference so this answer leads to uh, another topic let's talk about a little bit about technique and uh, about bicycles and so on now we have uh, electronic shifters and so on so what do you think about technique in, in cycling i mean also the very fast evolution of technique. you know the evolution yeah it's just huge pass you know ahead because uh, um, you can see those, like you said, uh, electronic shifters and everything helps you, but still you need to pedal. <laughs> that is the thing. Yeah, the bikes is lighter, but of course we have uh, still we have a limit, so 6.4 kilos, I think so, or 8, 7? 6.8. Yes, yeah, 6.8, so that is the thing, you need to stay there, but yeah, the bikes, the wheels, how this goes is big difference, big difference. What about the disc brakes? You know, honestly, I like disc brakes. I tried twice and I have and at my home one bike with disc brakes, I really enjoy it. Wait, what do you think about the wheel changing? I mean, do you think it's going to be an issue or trouble for you or, I mean, for the peloton or it's going to be I, solved quite quite easily i think for sure engineer is gonna resolve that problem because this is a big huge problem i talk with another guys who race with that and like okay today we start racing with just one chance if we get flat we out so that is a thing you need to decide with another companies like because another another company is doing different disc brakes shape and everything you can really fit in one bike right a neutral car so that's the thing uh, let's so let's go back to your training i mean uh do you manage yourself during trainings or do you have a, a sort of a common and shared program with uh, with your team uh yeah i um, i'm training with cyclometry is a uh, is a small right now company uh, we have like a lot of athletes in that thing but the the main coach who created the program is the application we training on that application as well so um it's really small smart uh, mathematics you know graphics and it's really really accurate thing for training yeah that's it the next question i mean uh, how much do you wonder about do you care about your computer by computer and how much do you care about uh, from your body you know it's a complex is a both so you need to be you need to be really smart in both ways because now now times you need to be careful about your weight about your power input output so everything everything so let's go to talk a little bit about racing i mean how do you see the difference in racing between the united states and europe now many teams they have a, a star like for example bora argonez sagan or just from for sky do you like this kind of teams that as a, just a star and all the other guys are working for him or do you prefer just to manage your effort and try to win all together uh, depending by the stage and say a happy stage or a quick stage or a sprint stage and so on the difference first i will answer the difference between us and europe this is a time so time of racings 
everyone you can you know you can uh, find some interview with Jens Foyt with another guys that's in US it's really short but it's really intense so basically we don't have really stages over 180 kilometers right here it's pretty much everything 200 kilometers like world championships 270 kilometers so there's basically uh, make that race it's more it's not slow it's more diesel kind of thing you just need to go and last hour five six hours sixth hour you need to get, go for full gas but in us you just go from the start from the gun boom what do you think it's just a matter of power or just a matter of mind I think both. That's like back in that thing psychometry analyze and that's the thing you need to totally do a different training type of training. So let's go to your future. I mean, um, what about your next season? My next season, yeah, I signed with uh, Pro Continental US based team United Healthcare. It's, it's a big team. They raced a lot in Europe as well. Like they did Milan San Remo, Paris Roubaix, all those races. And uh, I'm really looking forward with that team and they have a great support. So have you already scheduled some races in Europe? For next year? Uh, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I didn't have uh, you know conversation about that, but I'm sure, I know for sure that all US races we do, and I'm gonna focus for a couple of those. I think many fans uh, would like to know something about your meals and so on. What what do you eat during during your trainings, for example, and then during the race? So yeah, like every cyclist probably like care about the weight. So this is the thing. Um, during the season, you try to be light, you know, and during the winter you try to lose some extra weight or whatever you reach your goal so that's that's the thing you, you know breakfast the lunch and dinner I don't really snack much and try to be you know of course I have couple you know weeks off season I just go full gas of eating because you can't really hold that all season long but of course just like you know some you doing that balance with carbs and proteins that so basically just you know adjusting so let's go to numbers obviously i would like just like to ask you for example the the maximum speed you reached during your career i reached 124 kilometers per hour and tour of utah but yeah everyone just really impressive how but in the altitude it's the pressure of air is really low and you go fast and then you don't really realize especially on the u.s roads it's so wide that it was i was in air position and it just go you know, descending, it's pretty straight. I'm looking on my computer, like, oh, 124, like starting, you know, just scared, <laughs> just okay, <laughs> don't worry much. So that's what my maximum speed. How many wins? I don't really, I mean, it's not much for sure, but probably two, three a, a season I have. How many kilometers you train during, during here? And uh, obviously how many kilometers you're gonna ride during here? Around. 100. I, I'm not training about kilometers, I train by hours, so it's like average three hours a day. Three hours a day, every day, right? Yes, average. Let's say today I have three hours, tomorrow I have five hours, and after tomorrow I have one and a half. So average three hours, yeah. So thank you very much for your interview, for your time, for spending your time with us. And obviously it's been a pleasure to, to listen to you and your, uh, your deal is about cycling. And obviously we would like to wish you a good uh, new season with United Healthcare. Thank you very much. Thank you guys.